Celtics coach Brad Stevens said Tuesday that Jalen Brown had been playing through soreness in his left wrist recently, but that the pain began to escalate late last week so he underwent an MRI that revealed the torn ligament that will keep him out for the rest of this season. Stevens said Brown has left Boston and will undergo surgery this week. The coach defended the Celtics' handling of the injury, stressing that there were no indications of its seriousness at first. I think that, first and foremost, the training staff we have and the medical staff we have does a terrific job, and they're on it and they keep that open line of communication with the players, and I think Jalen and everybody else would second that," Stevens said. This is a really good group we have here. But we're glad that they got it when they did. It was good information, obviously, and we needed to react accordingly. Brown underwent the MRI on Friday, Stevens said and the Celtics spent the next few days evaluating treatment options before announcing Monday that the All-Star would need surgery and would not play again this season. Obviously, you feel for Jalen, Stevens said. He had a great year. He's such an important part of us in the here and now and as we move forward. We're all encouraged that he's going to be fine after the surgery and will recover 110%. So, first and foremost, you think about him in that situation. Now, the Celtics must move on and try to gain some momentum without one of their star players. No one on the roster can replicate 24-year-old Brown's combination of skill, athleticism, and physicality, so the Celtics will look to play to the strengths of their available replacements. We're going to have to make small tweaks to reinvent ourselves on the fly a little bit, Stevens said, because he's a critical part of what we were doing and how we would like to play on both ends of the court. While Boston will certainly miss Brown's 24.7 points per game, his absence will create a substantial void on defense, too. Brown had the strength and speed needed to guard power forwards, and now that responsibility will shift to Jason Tatum more often. Stevens said that Marcus Smart will get some chances in that spot, too, but there will be challenges elsewhere. Jalen Brown ends his season averaging 24.7 points per game. Matthew J. Lee, Globe staff, that's tough for Kemba, Walker, and, Evan, Fournier to do, Stevens said. And Aaron, Nesmith, as well. You even saw that the other day on some of Jimmy Butler's drives against Aaron. Aaron tried to stop him, but Jimmy got to where he wanted to go. So there's a physicality that we're going to have to find, and that may present opportunities for Jabari Parker, Semi Oyelaye, Grant Williams to step into that other spot and fill that void for appropriate minutes in different games and different situations.